Hello everyone, welcome back to the No Mystery Science. And before we start this exercise, please like this video, subscribe on the channel, and share with your classmates. Now, let's go for our problem. The Howe Bridge Truss is subject to the loading shown. Determine the force in members HD, CD, and GD, and state if the members are in tension or in compression. Now, I'm gonna do this question doing the method of sections, but first I'm gonna discover my external reaction A E Y A Y and A X. Here if I do the sum of forces in X is equal to zero, I have A X is equal to to zero. Now I'm gonna do the sum of moments about point A positive counterclockwise is equal to zero. And then I'll have 16 E Y minus 40 times 12 minus 8 times 20 minus 4 times 20 is equal to 0. Here I have that 16 EY is equal to 720. My EY is equal to 45 kilonewtons. Now, since I'm going to do my section cut here, I don't need to find my EY. Now, we're going to find our members. So here is the only part of the truss we're going to need for this exercise. Here I have my force CD. Here I have my force DH. And here I have my force GH. And I just discover my reaction EY. 45 kilo newtons. Here we have an angle alpha that's 4 and 4, so our alpha is equal to 45 degrees. Now I'm gonna start doing this part doing the sum of forces in y is equal to 0, and then I have 45 minus. 40 plus F D H times sine of 45 degrees is equal to zero. Here I have my force D H times 45 sine of 45 degrees is equal to minus five. So my force D H is equal to minus 7.07 .07 kilonewtons in compression. So here I just discover my force dH. Now we can use the sum of force, sum of moments about point D counterclockwise is positive. And then we're going to find the force GH. Now we have 45 times 4 and then plus FGH times 4 is equal to 0. So we have our FGH is equal to minus 45 kilonewtons here is in compression it's not part of our uh, question but it's easier when to find fcd so we're gonna use the sum of forces in x direction is equal to zero now i have minus f g h minus f d h sine of 45 degrees minus 
FCD is equal to zero. So my FCD is equal to minus minus 45 kilonewtons minus minus 5 kilonewtons because sine of 45 is same as cosine of 45 degrees. So our force CD is equal to 50 kilonewtons in tension. Now, to finalize, we're going to use the method of joints in our joint D. So for joint D, we have our F, G, D. We have here force D, E. We have our force C, D. And we have here our force D, H. So we know that the sum of forces in y direction is equal to zero. I know F G D plus F D H sine of 45 degrees is equal to zero. F G D is equal to minus minus five. So our F G D is equal to five kilonewtons in tension. Now we found every member that the question asked. Thanks for watching until the end. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe on the channel. Thank you.